Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchSticks.com. It always happens. Somebody comes out with something new and before you know it, there are clones and copies and they're all over the place. Well, it has happened with blood glucose reading smartwatches. This is going to be the third one we have reviewed here and they all have very similar numbers. The 400, E400, if you recall, was the first one. It was round. That was followed by an apple size and shaped one called the E500. You're looking at an advanced ECG blood oxygen, blood glucose, thermometer, and more uh, biometric reading smart band. This is the E600. Got a couple of covers we got to take off to make sure all the sensors work. And let me tell you where you can get it before we dive in. This is also available from Banggood, like the E500. The E600 is a new 1.47 inch uh, HD screen, but it basically does all the same stuff and has a very similar user interface. The nice thing is the cheap price. We're looking at under $40. Of course, it's in flash sale. It may go up. If it does, of course, check for a coupon discount. I notice down here at the bottom, you can pick it up in a variety of colors. And this little goodie here is an add-on. And this is a special strap that you can get that you can use this in multiple ways. Show you that in just a little bit after we go over the specs. It's an IP68 waterproof device with a 160 milliamp hour battery and using Bluetooth 5.1, which is really nice. Like the others, it tethers to the H-Band app, which has all these supported languages. You have the information reminder stuff. You have the health area, which includes, again, um, blood uh, glucose, uh, blood sugar monitor. You have exercise uh, recording on this one you have a variety of other applications music control camera control alarm clocks weather uh, custom dial market so you can add on your own if you want to and uh, 1.47 we said 172 by 320 pixels relatively small but it is a fitness band now we're not looking at a big watch 20 to 25 days standby time, 3 to 5 days use, and 2 hours of charging. Okay, there's the basic materials and size. Now, let's play. Here we go. We've got a charging cable with a 2-pin connector, which is exactly identical to the E400 and E500. There you go. Connects on like that. Now, this is a very fancy metal band on this one. You can get it in different band combinations. And in this particular combination, there's a uh, an additional rubberized band. So if you want it dressy, you can make it like this. You can easily pop it out and put in uh, a sports band as well. Deeper in the box, you find we've got a screen protector that you can use to put on it if you want to. We've got the card that we saw on the other ones, which is a basic introduction on how to do the ECG testing. And we'll show you that, of course. A little QR code. Sure seems like they all come from the same factory, doesn't it? And now the Smart Bracelet User's Guide. Very, very similar, colorful... It explains where all the sensors are and uh, gives you some guidelines on the different watch faces that are available. And again, you can download from the uh, store on the app different faces. Here's all of the different functions from heart rate through blood sugar, weather and sleep time tracking on all of that. You have um, the different shortcuts brightness controls, basic parameters, how to shut it down, and in special notes. And then it switches into a different language. When you look at this one now, you see you have an ECG plate on this side, another one on this side, two on the bottom right here. You've got your diodes and everything at the bottom, and then the charging port as well. To turn it on, you basically just touch the button, activate it, 
Uh, touch the screen. All right, you just keep messing with it. It'll eventually turn on. And it can accidentally turn on, too, if you've turned it off. Yeah, you just touch it somewhere, and it's going to turn on. It uh, is a very nice bright screen. We slide it down. You've got these different controls. Do not disturb your brightness. We are at the lowest level one right now. It gets way, way brighter, um, but we're going to keep it down low for you for the review. We also have uh, information about this one. It's the E600. You've got um, your Bluetooth connection to the phone when you have that set up. We have all kinds of different controls in here. There's the brightness again. The auto lock now is how long it will stay on when you're working with it. From something like 5 to 30 seconds. I've got it set at 20 right there. Some switches, which are really great. You have these in the app as well, but from the device itself, you can turn on or off the heart rate monitor, the blood pressure monitor. That means continuous, right? Heart rate alert, so it will notify you if your heart is higher than you set. A blood oxygen monitor that will be continuously monitoring it. And a blood oxygen alert that you can set. Scientific sleep allows you to get REM sleep and things like uh, Lorenz scatter plots or scatter diagrams. You also have now the blood glucose monitor, which is all brand new here. And then the wake up gesture. This is where you want to turn it on or off when you're going to sleep so it doesn't wake up on its own when you twist your wrist. And movement reminders for your basic sedentary uh, reminders, get up and walk. You can set date and time, or it can be done directly, you know, from the phone when you tether it. And this is a special QR code you use to pair this with the H-band. When you load up the H-band, you can bring up the scanner, scan this, and it'll immediately pair it up for you. You don't have to work at it. You got your dials, all the ones you can change. You saw this one. Here's another nice one here. Very interesting... Uh, rectangular well designed for this device uh, in the bands we've got a few others we'll show you those later notifications sent from your phone your languages that are supported on here your basic European languages Chinese and English are in there the about again you can erase all the data on the watch or power it down from here. There's no button to push and hold to cause it to power off. This is how you got to do it from going into the overall settings. So we are back here just to show you another watch face while we're here. There's a nice steel looking one. And this is a classic one they like to use with the body on it. You've got all of the information on, on the sides to tell you what's going on. Here we go. We are in the pedometer. It's showing you your step count every hour for the whole day with some basic information. Come over here. You're getting into an instant heart rate. It's taking that using the green diode there. We'll give you your heart rate and show you your continuous heart rate time. Blood pressure. You can take a reading right here. I guess I should put it on for all of this part. And... Hopefully we haven't messed it up moving around. We'll give it just a few seconds to settle down. Now it is doing continuous blood pressure in the background and you can set within the app to calibrate it to your own personal normal blood pressure. So if you're 190 over 100, uh, you can set that up and this will uh, show you any deviation from that. This will get back to its PTT. This is how you use the band uh, for taking continuous ECG. Here is the actual ECG. I touch it, and it gives you a three-second countdown. You hold the plates, and now it's actually doing ECG, but it's uh, not giving you a chart because the screen is too small. However, in the background, it's computing your heart rate based on the electrical signals. And if you watch in particular the review on the E500, you'll notice that the ECG heart rate uh, is much more accurate than the uh, one that you get just by taking your heart rate that uses the green diodes. Now, sadly, you don't really get a chart out of this. It's taking one, but it's not recording it, and it won't be transferred to the uh, app either. You have to do it initiated from the app in order to get that to work. 
Sadly, it works the same way for the uh, E400, but the E500, the rectangular one, is uh, is different in, in how it works. It'll actually do an ECG chart. Okay, here we are in blue blood glucose. And there's, you can see the daily chart there. This is when I had a very uh, sugary lunch. I skipped breakfast. I wanted to see what it would do differently. And yes, indeed, I get peaks and valleys, and now it's peaking back up again. So very interesting. You touch the button, and it's using the green diode technology. This is all new algorithms in these. It's computing a blood uh, glucose reading, 6.70. And I really don't know if it's accurate or not or how you would use it. Uh, those of you who need to monitor your uh, blood glucose, you could test it out and let us know how it goes. Blood oxygen, on the other hand, uses the red diode. And there's actually infrared diodes as well. And it's going to basically compute your standard blood oxygen. When you see in the app, of course, there's a whole lot more to it um, in a lot of the data that you're getting uh, on all of these different measurements. There we go. Reading nice and high today. 99%. Big white numbers against the black background. Easy to see. When you set up the uh, body temperature, it will give you uh, in Fahrenheit or centigrade your skin temperature and then it calculates what your body temperature is. So that's part of this as well. Last night's sleep time is here and here is the forecast in your area, well the temperature uh, with your city or location at the top. Now here we go into all of the different activities and you can get that circular just by simply going to the left. So you have your various workouts, runs and walks and things, just a few of them. You have uh, your pedometer we saw, heart rate and sleep time. All these are the same icons that we looked at as we went around. So we don't have to reproduce those. There's that PTT weather notifications. This is new alarms which you have to set in the h-band app itself but you have them here you have uh, a stopwatch built into this one you have countdown timers on it a music player that will remotely play the music on the phone no speaker or microphone in these and find your phone ladies it'll tell you where you are in your cycle but you got to set that up in the app a remote camera shutter, and then your overall settings, which we already looked at, which include powering off or erasing the data. Okay, let's play with the app now. As we have mentioned, it's called the H-Band. There is an H-Band 2 app, and it might work with this. I'm not sure. They, they're they kind of, it's from the same basic company, but uh, the H-Band's the one they recommend. That's the one I've been using, but I've been putting a different version of it on different phones. That's why you see different phones in all these reviews, uh, so that I can keep them all separate. This is the E600. I touched it, I launched it, and we've already set it all up and got data in here, so not going over that again. Um, Take a look at the reviews of the E400 and the E500 when I cover the app if you want to get more detailed information. What I don't show you a lot in those, and I'll show you here, is the More button lets you get the individual readings of each of these different sections, including taking an ECG, your blood oxygen, your blood um, glucose is in here as well, uh, blood pressure, temperature, all of that stuff, and activating directly into the overall settings which otherwise you got to go down to another tab at the bottom let's walk through you got pedometer your step count for the day broken down by how many steps in each half hour really nice you got last night's sleep time all broken up like this a little too busy um because it, it looks like you're flipping between all these states of sleep every two minutes or so and I don't think that's really what's going on, especially when you look at how other apps handle sleep. But if you plow through all that and look at the global amounts down here, you can get the percentage of times that you're in the different zones. So if you're trying to increase your dream time, you can try to pump up that number there through whatever practice you have and see if you get higher rate of uh, time spent in the rapid eye movement stage. Other kind of information is down here, and that's sleep. Your heart rate, again, the white lines are uh, showing you your activity, and the green lines are showing your actual heart rate as it goes along. 
and it's pretty interesting. You can see it somewhat correlates to when you're active. Shows you when you're in the different zones, how much time you spent in those zones, and your heart rate details are over here. Every single reading, one by one, these are five minute increments, and it's showing you five readings in that five minutes. And it's got good battery life. All three of them uh, do this, and I think that's really cool. You can actually see each and every heart rate. You can set up a heart rate alert if you want to as well. That's all in here. Heart rate variability. Creating a Lorenz scatter diagram right now and giving you a heart health index and showing you the zone you're in. And we've talked about these. These are the different styles that you oftentimes see this in, and they have different meanings. You can drill into any of them and get background information on it. But that's a nice addition to this. This is only a nighttime measurement for HRV. For your uh, blood pressure, it's an all-day thing. It's showing you every five minutes. Your systolic, diastolic readings are in here. You can set up a personal... Um, reading and it'll calibrate against that as i mentioned before your lowest highest are all in there blood oxygen now is showing you your rates low and high in that particular time window of 10 minutes um and this is the only one that shows a big band like that the other two watches pretty much just show one number and occasionally it dips down to another number uh, not sure that the algorithm's really working well with the H-Band app with blood oxygen. I'm not seeing apnea reports coming in where the blood oxygen drops down quite a bit. Older bands, if you look in our play, uh, 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 playlists area on the smartwatchticks.com website, go into sleep apnea, you'll see a variety of older watches that do this blood apnea, blood oxygen apnea computation, and they have a much better sensitivity to picking up sleep apnea. On all three of these new watches that have the blood glucose reading, it seems that that algorithm has changed and it's not as sensitive. Just bringing that up now that we're doing our third review, and they all look a little different from each other blood glucose now they all look the same between the three watches and here's how it pans out again I, I see this pattern you can look at the other ones there's kind of a, a breakfast hump and, a, and an afternoon hump and lunch to hump but they often happen earlier when I'm having breakfast this one I kind of delayed and ate a little bit later in the day but you can get uh it's not showing the actual number when you touch it but you can see you get a maximum minimum and a range with an average value you can check out the range during any half hour period and if you know how to work with these numbers and balancing your blood glucose perhaps this can help you it may or may not be true a couple of people have reported they think it's fake i don't know enough to know all i can say is Play with it. See what it does for you, if it gives you any any meaningful information. Body temperature shown here, and tap that, and you see the actual skin temperature with its average as well. You notice the scales kind of shifted a little bit. This has gone up to 120, and there it's 104. It looks like it's going the wrong way, but they changed the scale. And, of course, you get your body temperature in each half-hour uh, range as well. Make sure you're wearing it before you, for at least 10 minutes before you do a body temperature thing. The ECG thing, now this is another whole area we get into. Ladies, here's your female uh, cycle information. And as you can see, you can set it all up. Have it track when your period begins. There, it said it beginning the 17th um, and so forth. And you mess around with that as you know. And then you can track it and get the report directly on your watch. You can change these modules around, delete some of them, rearrange them. I've put them in an order that I like. This is not how you get it out of the box, but uh, yeah, play with it. And now we're back to ECG. We got a couple of things going on. As you saw, we can do an ECG test directly from the band, but it's only going to give you a heart rate. It's not giving you a chart, and it's not going to transfer it over to the app. To get an actual ECG chart like this one, that I took uh, manually here from the app, you need to initiate it from the app. So you say start testing. You get this thing so it's on your wrist. Mine is really loose right now because I haven't wanted to fuss with taking the links out. 
Um, you get it so so it's nice on your wrist above that bump, and you start it. And then you just basically touch the sides. One plate or the other on, on the actual body of the band is okay. And I'm going to move out so that'll focus on the uh, picture here. I'm talking and moving a little bit, so it's taking a moment to settle down. You see the band screen went off. It doesn't need to be on. It's working in the background. And now we're getting a really decent, normal heart rate, 69 beats. Um, if you look at the E500, Uncle Tix was having a heart issue when I did the review, and uh, you'll see a completely different chart. So one of the benefits of these devices is whether they're fully accurate or not, right down to the iota, they do seem to be able to help you discern things that may happen be happening with your body. So uh, take the readings with a grain of salt in terms of using them for predictive purposes or medical decisions, but certainly uh, worthwhile to have these things to tell you some stuff. Here we get the uh, the latest reading, and each of these uh, represent those. And you can go back through previous days and see earlier readings as well. All of that's in here. And that is the main home tab. Oh, I pulled down enough that it's updating. You can go over to workouts. You can start a GPS tracked workout where it's using the GPS in your phone while you're doing your uh, movement. You have this smart movement thing that allows it to kind of tell if you're walking or running or whatnot, as far as I understand it. And you can do that as well. Then you get into um, you, your overall setup, what your demographics are. I register as female, so I can show you that period tracking. If you're male, you won't see it. Um, other, other things in here. I do want to go into the uh, dial settings for you. Whew there got stuff on the screen loading the watch faces from the server and uh, I switched just now I touched the button to a face that I downloaded from the server this is a really interesting uh, very broad uh, just the time ma'am and I'm gonna be using this when I show you the band coming up next but you have all these different styles in here and uh, I couldn't show you the ones on the five, the E500 because the server was down. But they are different. They're different size and shape and different bands. So each of the devices that use the H-Band app will have access to their own unique uh, watch faces. So there's somebody out there designing a bunch of really cool faces. Everything else is basically the same. And then, of course, back here, you've got your goals that you can set your units and such. You can log out of here and you can uh, actually disconnect yourself from the H-Band app if you want to, too. Now, let's move into the next phase. This last part, because it's unique to these devices, and then we'll finish things up. You get a bag if you order that extra thing, and it comes with three components and a little uh, card that explains how to do ECG belt with the PPT instructions. You remember I mentioned this has PPT T on it. So what I'm going to do is take the band off of here and use the device here. You want, uh, because this has a plate on either side, it really doesn't matter, I presume, which way you put it in. That's interesting. When I'm holding it, it's going to be like this. The thumb is on this side, so I'm going to install it with the face like this and it's just a matter of snapping it in really good okay so I've got this set now when you're doing this you come over to the PTT like this and I hit that button and it says it's measuring now see up here on the app it started flashing I didn't go into detail on the E500 so uh, I want to go into detail here. I just showed you how you could do this with taking a uh, a standard um, ECG with the standard app, but this PTT is way different. You get yourself connected, the lead fail goes away, you stay really still on this one, and once it all settles down, figures out a grounding. There's actually some 
very interesting electronics going on in here. Uh, you can't just hold two buttons on either side. You see the, how noisy that is? That's because it's, uh, you know, there's 60 cycle hum and the wires in, in the house. There's Wi-Fi flying around and Bluetooth, all kinds of signals. So one of these two, oh, that's why I'm not touching it. You have to be touching all of it, I guess. One of these two is a grounding button, and the other one is the signal button that goes to the other signal. And if you get this just right, you'll start to get a decent chart. All right, I'm not. We're going to leave that alone, but I want to tell you one way to get a good decent chart is you put these things in here, all three of them on here, peel the stuff off, uh, sticky stuff, and stick it actually on your body, on your chest, wherever you want there. And you can then do this and go to bed with it on if you want to, or go riding your bike or whatever. The other option is the uh, chest strap that comes with it. Real easy to adjust and to uh, take on and off. You just loop, loop it out of here and adjust it the way you want to. You've already got the module in here. These are the... Um, electrodes right there and all you need to do is line it up there's only one way it can go in you snap the card into the belt and you we still have it in the ptt mode so if i put this on right now i can uh wear it and be getting my uh data and i've got a big nice time display flashing out at everybody so they can look at me and see I know the time, or I am the time. I am Mr. Tix, right? Okay, that, we haven't gone into a lot of detail, but that's basically how you use this process. You can exit the PPT mode, and it disappears from here, and you're disconnected. You can wear this all night. You can get some really extensive data on here. Um, Personally, if I were going to get one, I would get this little one here at 40 bucks and just dedicate it to the band and use this whenever I'm exercising, working in the yard, sleeping. Whenever you want to get a good ECG chart, you could do it from here. Um, and then get the other ones for, um, you know, using on your wrist, the 400 or the 500. They're inexpensive enough. They're going to be way less than buying an Apple Watch to get all three of them. In fact, Coming up in a little while, I'm going to do a uh, comparison of all three video for you so you can really uh, decide which one you want. All right, I think that wraps it up for the day. Last chart I wanted to show you were the four different ways of uh, wearing this and working with it. There's the standard watch way, which we used most of the review. There's the way you saw me doing it, clipping it in the little uh, shelf and holding on to it. There's wearing it as a uh, band, and then, of course, with the little sticky things to put it on your body. And you can buy all of that extra uh, by clicking on this and adding that to your cart along with uh, whichever color you want in the band, and you pick it up from Banggood. Again, the link is in the show notes. Appreciate it if you use our link, because we go to a lot of work to prepare these videos for you, and Banggood sends us these things so we can review them for you. And you closing the loop by buying them using the link helps to keep everything going. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.